I am Rita Nazareno. I'm Gabby Lee Chow. And we are Nazareno de Chow. Kindra Design Collective was created by and for like-minded designers and manufacturers. We focus on featuring, selecting, and developing products with contemporary aesthetics. With a simpler, more straightforward approach to design, we combine traditional techniques and materials with an infusion of innovation and relevance and hopefully some wit. We highlight the craftsmanship of Philippine designers and manufacturers through a refreshing contemporary and even sometimes playful approach. For this edition, we wanted to continue with the values we set out for Kindred Design Collective and somehow create a thoughtful response to the very trying times we have found ourselves in. We launched Wipeout because we wanted to wipe the slate clean, start anew, have a blank canvas of sorts, like in the song, like a snowy linen land. Cebu Oak Craft, they're known for driftwood and discarded denim. So they're focusing on upcycling these materials and turning it into new objects. So for this MNO edition, we thought of working with driftwood. Uh, we came up with this collection called Ikebana. So these are a combination of two materials, driftwood and cement. We wanted to create an object that, that will help the owner kind of focus, similar to how you do bonsai and how you do arrangements. It gives you this freedom and focusing on what you want to do with the object. The buyer can customize these objects. Whether you want to do a minimal approach by having a plan or just leaving it as is. Le Galouche is a Cebu-based company known for their exceptional work on chagrin and shell inlay. One of the pieces Nazarena Lechauco designed for Le Galouche is rather this sportive um, take on skateboards. Le Galouche did a very intricate chagrin inlay in Baibayan. Baibayan is an ancient indigenous script used in parts of the Philippines and was suppressed during the Spanish colonial era. For a modern slant, we wanted to use a Filipino Tagalog slang. We chose the word galing, which means a variety of things. Galing being clever, skillful, excellent. Said differently, it means coming from. Galing ako sa Pilipinas, I come from the Philippines. Chanali is known for its hand-carved busts and other religious iconic sculptures. For the first collection we did, we came up with something that's very relevant. So we added a little detail of having a painted mask on each. For the white out edition, aside from having them uh, finishing it off with white, we approached another company, Emorial, to execute their finishes on these busts. So, there are some with gold details, some with like paint splatters, which is uh, one of the signature finishes of Emory. So it's a combination of having two companies working together. We enjoy designing for JB as they are always very gung-ho with the production of prototypes. They're always open to new ideas. One of our classic pieces with them is the column stool, which we first did in black for itim, material manipulations in black. Then this beautiful ombre finish for bubble living. And for this edition, we did a beautiful stark white finish. It shows JB's craftsmanship and hand carving expertise that have gone on for three generations. Home Edition has been supplying furniture for Scandinavian countries and many others. They're able to translate this Scandinavian aesthetic using homegrown materials such as rattan, bamboo, 
one of their strengths is binding and weaving. They have two collections, the Saucy Sod, and the, it's a local gum brand, chick fil The Saucy Sod collection, it has a lot of wit. It kind of reminds me of a playground because these are like sausage shapes, stools, benches. It brings back that childhood you know, memory of being in the playground. We also wanted to introduce colors to add balance to the design. So we had army green and brown and black for the sauce song. But also each strand, each spoke was tied first and then assembled all together. For the chiclet collection, and chiclet it's a 70s, 80s local gum. The form is like like a pillow. So we use that as a reference to create this entire collection. The company itself uses a lot of natural finishes and neutral colors. We wanted to add like a detail. And so we thought of using violet for the binds. So it's it's really subtle. Modern unadored arches by contemporary artists and architects were just some references that Nazarena Lechalco had drawn for the development of a collection of sleek, unembellished furniture for stone sets, except for a line of contrasting colors slicing the austere yet very seductive arch form. Fins have always been a part of island life. Owen Churchill, who patented fins in 1940, was inspired by a group of natives from Tahiti who would weave small mats from palm fronds that they would then dip in a tub of tar, which, when cooled, they would tie to their feet and swim and free dive into the ocean. The stone set's fin pieces were designed by Nazarena Lechalco as a nod of sorts to the beautiful beach areas and the inhabitants of Cebu, where Stone Sets is located. You know, reimagining the Bugs in Black for Prado and seeing the incredible reaction to it was quite special for us. It has been an interesting ride working with Prado. The Cloud Collection, which include abstract pieces such as lamps, vessels, gave Prado a more contemporary collection. WGSN even featured the pieces in their Maison et Objet trend report. The whiteout version turned out exquisitely, and we are looking forward to pushing the collection further for the next cycle.